Live from KTTC, your weather authority. This is KTTC News at 10. Thanks for joining us. I'm Caitlin Alexander. Tom has the night off. It was an intense start to the Rochester Public School Board meeting this evening. A group of demonstrators refused to abide by the district's mask rule. Last month, the school board announced that people who refused to mask inside school buildings could be charged with trespassing. Our Cam Maria Bray joins us now live in the studio with an update since 6. So, Cam, what exactly happened? Yeah, Caitlin, well, anti-mask demonstrators wanted to attend the school board meeting in person, but were met at the door by a district staff member who strictly enforced that mask rule. As some walked into the district building wearing face coverings, others walked in with bare faces and was immediately met by district staff who refused to let those unmasked into the school board meeting. What, of, what authority do you have over us as private citizens? Yeah, thank you. What authority? We went in very civilly, very peacefully. We said we're coming into the meeting and we were stopped at, forcefully. T.C. Pearson and about 20 others challenged that decision. When an entity tells you that you have to follow our rules to be able to speak your mind on an issue, that's prior restraint and it's a violation of our constitutional freedoms. And that's why people are upset. That's what you saw tonight was frustration. Another community member, Ann Paisley, who walked in during the altercation, shared her perspective of what she saw. Well, walking in tonight, there are a bunch of anti-masking people who think that their opinion is right and that COVID's a hoax and whatever conspiracy theories are fueling them. But the thing is, the consistent thing since COVID came out, even when Trump was still president, was masking up was the right call. Those who didn't want to mask did end up leaving the building. This is BS. It breaks my heart. Rochester police were present during the incident and didn't have to arrest or physically remove anyone who refused to mask for trespassing. And I don't think anybody wants that to happen. But if it's a matter of protecting our children or letting somebody walk through our schools without knowing if they're safe, I'd rather have them trespassed and protect our students. Did I think it was going to happen tonight? No, because I wasn't going to take it there. There were no threats, there was no violence, there was no, no uh, physical coercion on our part. Um, we just wanted to be heard and they will not hear us. An RPS interim superintendent says the weird paradox for me is I actually want to hear what those folks have to say, whether they think everything we're doing or I'm doing uh, is exactly the wrong thing. I'm interested in what they have to say. And so when you have people who won't wear the mask or won't abide by the basic procedures, they're actually cutting off their own chance to make their point. 